Hey, what's up, guys? The rank 10 player in the world has perfected a new toxic card combination to blow past all the other P.E.K.K.A. players and climb to the top of the world. P.E.K.K.A. is one of the strongest cards in the game, so of course this deck uses it, and it's designed to destroy it. Guards are incredible at distracting P.E.K.K.A. since the shields don't heal up the P.E.K.K.A. And Fisherman comes up clutch, pulling P.E.K.K.A.s all over the map, whether it's off your Goblin Giant or away from your tower. Since this deck has two huge threats with the Evolved Goblin Giant and the P.E.K.K.A., your opponent has to drop the P.E.K.K.A. on one side, leaving the door open for you to explore the other side with your other evolution. And if opponents are feeling sneaky and try to charge into your Cannoneer with bait cards, you've got Mother Witch in three spells, so they're going to get sent to the Shadow Realm. This is by far one of the most toxic decks in the game because it completely counters the P.E.K.K.A. meta. While this deck enjoys the power of the P.E.K.K.A. evolution, <laughs> opponents will be struggling and screaming, wondering what they're supposed to do to break through. Let's play Gobs of P.E.K.K.A.s and assert dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. And gigantic P.E.K.K.A. love to everyone that's supporting the channel with Critter Code Sir Tag. Alright, it's time to rush towards this guy ASAP. As soon as he cycles something in the back, we're gonna go in the other side with the Goblin Giant and bewilder our bro. Our best play right now is Goblin Giant Team because he decided to go and ram a five elixir cost card in the back. So for one more elixir, I can drop something at the bridge and see what you're up to. Okay, so if I zap this, a lot more elixir than I would want to drop, but we might be able to keep our opponent's Apeka at bay with our Spear Goblins from the Goblin Giant, so he's just distracted for forever. And if I peck in the middle, I might be able to pull like a Bandit and a peck at the same time. Ideally, he drops something else that we can pull. So I'm waiting with my P.E.K.K.A. to the last possible second, and now we have to finally release our P.E.K.K.A. Slightly unfortunate that we had to play that way, but it'd be what it'd be. And if he spams the other side, we do have Fisherman. Also, another cool thing about our deck is the fact that people are going to have to go encounter the P.E.K.K.A. and the Goblin Giant individually. If I go for Dueling Pressure, then our opponent will have to place his P.E.K.K.A. on top of our P.E.K.K.A. or on our Goblin Giant. So it'll be very difficult for him to decide what he wants to do as this game starts to progress. Also, I can go Goblin Giant plus Guards in the face of a P.E.K.K.A. And with a Fisherman, we might even be able to pull the P.E.K.K.A. I think he's getting a little bit spooked right now. There's no doubt about it. This is not an amazing spot for our guy. We're able to rage up our Goblin Giant. We are just spawning endless amount of Goblins in his face. And he had to face the fact that he had to go for his evolution like that. That is uh, demoralizing, my dude. How about we go Witch versus Wizard? Who would win? Fight. I think our Witch doesn't survive, so no one's really a winner. But maybe our Pig is. Our Pig is the breadwinner! Get that bread, baby! <laughs> he is making us all the money, all the damage. Without the Pig, we would have nothing from that interaction. We got a plus one Elixir trade, but also... I can't really say that in full faith because obviously his wizard shield obliterated all of our cards that were stacked up on the tower. But maybe since we got all the goblins for free, it was still in sight for our victory. I don't know. You guys let me know down below in the comment section. Did I get a positive extra trade with that mother witch or not? Because I would like to say so, but I think it's been a little bit intellectually dishonest. I'm going to go for guards here. Uh, unfortunately, this is looking really bad, but I'm going to be able to zap on that and then go in for a mother witch off to the other side. Give me a P.E.K.K.A. or give me death. Okay, cool. We have the P.E.K.K.A. still alive. We're not dead. We're going to give our opponent death instead. He is staring death on its doorstep. And I'm going to go in for a rage as well. I think with the Goblin Giant, we might be able to procure an offensive play where we're able to go for a Zap, Arrows, and... Oh, no! Two things are alive at zero health. Clash Rowl, what are you doing to me right now? Clash Rowl, what are you doing to me right now? Oh, my goodness. That was a spooky and sketchy situation, but as long as we're not going to pull a P.E.K.K.A. into us, then we're fine. I literally wanted the Fisherman to die, because if he didn't kill the Fisherman and then he dropped a P.E.K.K.A. at the bridge, he could have pulled the P.E.K.K.A. directly into our tower and we could have lost the game. So that is the way to speedrun a loss, and luckily that didn't happen. Thankfully, the guy and his ghost got spooked out by our Fisherman, zapped it, and killed it, so we didn't get killed. And taking a page from this guy's name, it's already time to go on to the next game. Okay, this guy already knows that he's destined to go on YouTube. Hopefully, he's going to be a fan because he can have a lot of different cards that he could be playing right now. And I want to surprise him and uh, have him look at this video afterward and be like, Jake, why did you do this to me? <laughs> it's one of the most priceless reactions to have someone in the comment section be like, Jake, I played against you and your deck was dumb. I hated it. <laughs> like, you know, maybe you'll love it one day if you play it yourself. I'm gonna go guards with our aggressive goblin giant if he wants to go in for a fisherman, but he doesn't. He's gonna go in for a P.E.K.K.A. 
So if we saw cards like a Phoenix or maybe Electric Spirit or Skeletons, we would have expected a Fisherman to go and activate King Tower with our Goblin Giant. So I would have played this entirely differently. But after seeing P.E.K.K.A., we know exactly what our opponent's going to be playing. It's going to be a Bridge Spam deck again. So against P.E.K.K.A. deck, it's important that we play defensive. And then we get counter push when we're up. Also, since we see Lumberjack, it's got to be a balloon. It has to be the balloon version of the deck. So we're going to go guards. Then we're going to go in for our Mother Witch. Notice where I dropped my guards. The Ice Wizard is not targeting the guards, keeping our stuff alive a little bit longer. Also, the Zap should come up clutch. Please let me heal. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I was going to say heal up, but I forgot that I do not have the Evolve P.E.K.K.A. <laughs> I always want to heal up my P.E.K.K.A.s now. It's a bad thing. You think that you can heal up every P.E.K.K.A. because one of your P.E.K.K.A. heals up. And then you're like, dude, no matter what, my P.E.K.K.A. can survive the impossible. That's not how it works in Clash. It only works when you get the overpowered evolution. So we want to go in for a P.E.K.K.A. evolution on the left, I think, because if I can bombard him with only having Lumberjack in cycle and no Inferno Dragon in his deck, how can he defend this? Sure, an Ice Wizard works, but it's going to get one shot, my guy. If you Lumberjack, that'll be even more ludicrous. I bet you he tornadoes this into the other side. Ooh, oh, oh my gosh. How is my P.E.K.K.A. doing those moves? What is happening here? That was legitimately one of the best kites I've ever seen in my life, and I don't know if that was intentional or not. But I got to give this guy credit. That was super, super smart. We're going to go for a Fisherman, then we're going to go in for Guards, and we're going to have to use our Guards and Fisherman to kill that as quickly as we can. So then our Mother Witch can go and target onto the Balloon. We're also going to rage this up because I thought that one get frozen, but I guess I'm stupid. Is this guy BMing me? I think he said thanks when uh, and he did a lot of damage and uh, did a phenomenal kite. So I don't know if he's like the nicest individual in this game, but he's played a little bit better than us. So he does deserve to win. So right now, and maybe we can get better interaction and get it back in our favor. But it wasn't looking good a couple seconds ago, and it's still not looking great now. All right. We know he's got a P.E.K.K.A. So our strategy might be entirely different right now. I think we can pull the P.E.K.K.A. with a Fisherman and then go Guards. That has to work. It has to work. It's the only play. If we do that and the Goblin Giant stays on the tower and then we zap on the Ice Wizard... Please? Oh my gosh, we're spawning goblins everywhere. We got enough stuff on the left, maybe. Spirit goblins, fishermen, we joined the win. Let's go. That was the comeback of the century, all precipitated by that fisherman prediction. If I didn't catch my opponent's Pekka, I would have 100% lost the game. If you can pull off fancy fisherman predictions, especially against Pekka, you can win any match. Your astonished opponent will sit there after thinking that they won in total embarrassment. Never doubt the Fisher Boy, because he can always pull through with the W. All right, we're on a roll, and we're playing against someone with Pekka, Diego DR. So he's Dr. Diego. I wonder if he has a remedy for our deck. I feel like you have to be playing so well to cure the toxicity that is Goblin Giant plus P.E.K.K.A. I want to go in for Mother Witch right now. I also want to go for guards. Usually, if we see a Cannoneer, we just ram our guards right at the river, and we don't even care about them. But in this situation, I thought about it a little bit more. I was like, hey, that's a Princess Tower. It does a lot more damage per second against bait cards because it fires a lot faster. Anyway, we are able to one-shot an Electro Wizard. That's the reason that I don't like Electro Wizard as a card. It doesn't have that much health. And also on top of that, Cannoneer is busted. It is so good. And at any range card. Unfortunately, we are matching into a P.E.K.K.A. yet again, man. Come on, Clash Royale. Don't give me the P.E.K.K.A. every single game. I think we're going to get the P.E.K.K.A. every single game. That's why we've got our own P.E.K.K.A., Guards and Fishermen. Without those cards, P.E.K.K.A. would be horrible for us to match into. Graveyard. Okay, okay, okay. Well, this is looking a little bit worse for me. All right, looking a lot worse for me. We're going to have to zap as more skeletons accumulate. And we clean them all up, right? Nice! Perfect zap timing. We take those. Kind of being down 2,000 damage is in our DNA, apparently. The doctor has ordered up a healthy dishing of damage on our tower. And <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to combat that if he decides to do the same strategy again with Freeze. And ransacks our aggressive Mother Witch. If we go in for a Mother Witch against the graveyard... Usually works out, but I don't know. I'm not feeling it right now. I'd love to go and pull the P.E.K.K.A. yet again with the Fisherman. Please let it happen. Okay, what if we pull the Valkyrie away? What if we pull the Valkyrie away for the one time? I'm okay with that. And then we go for a Rage with the Guards, and then we pull the P.E.K.K.A. away, and then the Goblins lock onto the tower with the Guards. Yo, look at the damage, though. Okay. All right, game. I see you. I just need to be able to kill this P.E.K.K.A. before it pulverizes me. 
I think if I go for a zap, it might be enough. No, it healed. Oh my gosh, stop it. Thankfully, guards are broken against Evo Pekka, as you guys saw, because it does not heal up after it kills the shield. So that was really, really, really clutch. <laughs> I think there were enough reallys in there, guys, but uh, I'm pretty happy with that interaction. All right, we're going to go for a Pekachu. And we're going to Rage. We're going to get him to go in for a freeze soon. And we're going to Zap again. We need to minimize the damage, and that's the best way to do it. Okay, so we got to go Guards so we can kill the P.E.K.K.A. And then we can go for a Fisherman afterward to go and pull the Executioner. And then we can save our Mother Witch because I think that's how we're going to have to play this. Jeez, man. He has been playing this so well right now. I don't appreciate it. If we go Goblin Giant in the back, I think that also is an okay play. Because if you go Goblin Giant in the back, it eliminates the possibility of your opponent doing something aggro into you. Like, he can't go into the uh, Goblin Giant because it would uh, be able to kill a lot of the Graveyard Skeletons. Now we can Mother Witch here. Might be able to do something super feisty with a Zap and a Rage. Okay, that Rage was not it. <laughs> I wanted to say the Rage was it, but it was not it at all. Can Pekka at least win this interaction? No, we're not, we're not even coming close to winning that interaction. If he graveyards me, I'm screwed. Don't graveyard me. Don't do it. Don't do it, you psycho. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm sweet but a psycho. Don't do it. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> All right, if we go Goblin Giant and the P.E.K.K.A. is able to heal up against Electro Wizard. Wait, how is our P.E.K.K.A. healthy again? Yo, she's back and better than ever. He's going to freeze. He's going to freeze 100%. 100%. So we have to wait a little bit. Then we can go for a zap. And we can arrows to kill the Executioner. If we pop the Exe, we might be able to pull off some Miraculous Heist. I definitely want to go Mother Witch and Guards. And then we can pull the P.E.K.K.A. to the other side too. Let's just do that right now. Make sure he has no graveyard counters. Our stuff. Like, he could freeze, but I think it's a bad decision. He's not freezing with it. He's going to lose the pack up. But he's evolved Valkyrie. He's going to pull the units in. The Goblin Giant's going to get pulled in. There's no way. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Yo, 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 yo. Do it again. Do it again with the evolved Goblin Giant this time. For the one time. Come on, evolved Goblin Giant. Just go in. Go in for the win. Please let me win with the Uvo Goblin Giant. Yes! <laughs> the dude legitimately had two P.E.K.K.A.s and an Evolved Valkyrie. And his Evolved card lost him the game because it pulled the Goblin Giant to the tower. Oh my gosh, you can't even make these games up. These are ridiculous. I'm losing my mind. My opponents are losing the game and I'm losing my voice because I don't even know what to say anymore. There's no way we were able to cycle two Goblin Giants into two P.E.K.K.A.s and an Evolved Valkyrie and get away with it. All right, we're matching into a rank 550 player. Clash Trails like Jake, you've gotten some pretty unfair wins. So now we got to give you some bad karma out here. So we have to test our trial and error of the deck. See if we can beat a top ranked player too. And hopefully, you know, we can get guards on this tower and he drops a bait card that we can zap down or rage. You know what? Let's rage and zap. And I think we can kill his guards and then our guards get damaged on the tower. Yeah, look at that. It might even get another hit. Okay. It's weird because Cannon Year completely changes how the game is played. Because he has to over defend against bait cards like guards. It takes six shots to kill all the guards because the shields. And uh, it's just fun from that perspective. I can arrows the tower for some extra damage and just say that I'm beating a rank 500 player in the world right now. Anyway, we're going to peck in the back because he dropped five elixir. We can drop seven and be okay with it. We can also go guards here. With the cannoneer, we're not going to take that much damage against the RG. He has to do a lot of elixir to break through that. Also, I'm going to become a sinister sir for a sec. Watch is what we do with our goblin giant, Pekka, and rage. The Pekka's going to get pulled in. He's probably going to go guards and fishermen. And we also have Rage, and we've got a lot of stuff with us, so maybe do this one for the one time. If we're able to just get the go The Goblin Giant's not getting soaked up by the Rage. The okay, now it's back in the Rage. Thank you, Fisherman. Thank you for identifying where we went wrong, and then you, uh, you kind of remedied the situation. So his Fisherman saved our butt. I think Fishermen are just literally on our side no matter what. They always want to work for us, whether it's our opponents, Units pulling the, our units in or our fishermen winning us the game. It's just how it's meant to be, I guess. All right. We're going to fisherman here. We could pull Royal Giant in, which would kind of suck. But we do have Evolve Pekka, so it's not that bad. So we'll see what he does. Oh, he's not going to. All right. Well, we can't really go into that, can we? 
Unless we zap, which I think is our best bet. Yeah, we're just going to zap on that. Get some extra damage. Not that much, but it's something. All right, so we know he's going to rail giant plus uh, fisherman. So we're going to go guards and make a prediction on the fisherman. So then he can't pull the P.E.K.K.A. And he just lost everything. <laughs> my man is healing up my P.E.K.K.A. He is feeding me food right now. And uh, that's really cool, my dude. I appreciate that. All right, Goblin Giant here. Fisherman on his Fisherman. Make the prediction. Come on. Did we pull the Fisherman? No! It trolled me, bro. I thought we were going to pull the Fisherman, but we didn't. Wait, the Goblin Giant's just brawling Goblins at our guy. All we need to do is defend this next Royal Giant, and we win. All we need to do is defend, and we beat a top 500 player. I need to not be stupid here, but I want to be dumb. We're going in for the win, guys. This is how we play Clash Royale. Nothing short of being stupid all the time. So we're going to rage it up. We're going to go for arrows as well. Is that enough with Zap? I think so. Yeah, no, we win. Wait, I just misclicked the Zap. I swear I'm not BMing. I swear I'm not BMing. I'm just bad. I don't know if you guys have ever done that before. Um, I, I don't know why I just did that to that guy. <laughs> I'll say GG and well played just to make sure he knows that I, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> when we're winning with such a good deck, we're destined to become the bad guy. Missing our spells and making our opponents feel bad, even if they're top 500 players. That guy was an extraordinarily talented sir at over 2,700 medals at the top of Ultimate Champion at 550 in the world. And despite us not playing our best against one of the best players in the game, our deck completely carried us. All right, time to end on a dominant W. You guys already know we are ready to rumble. There's a P.E.K.K.A. in the right, and hopefully we can see a Mega Knight left on our opponent. I would really love to be playing against someone with Mega Knight because we've got P.E.K.K.A., we've got Fisherman, we have every answer in the entire game to beat Mega Knight. And Mega Knight Evolution is making people play Mega Knight a lot more, so i just like to see a Mega Knight right now. Come on, sir. Give it to me. Even if you go in for opposite lane pressure, when we go for a peck in the back, because we have arrows and we have rage, we can clean up whatever bait cards you're going to do. Also, we have Mother Witch too. And then if you spam into us really aggressively, we can kite it directly into the peck with the fisherman. So, you know, we're not that scared. Oh, are we going to yoink a bowler? I think we are. So the one cool thing about the evolved P.E.K.K.A. is if the opponent is super prepared for just the P.E.K.K.A. and you Goblin Giant on the other side, they aren't necessarily able to defend that easily. So... Try to get him to use his tornado and freeze on this P.E.K.K.A. And then maybe we can go Goblin Giant on the other side. Please freeze. Please freeze. Okay, he didn't fall for the cheese. But we might be able to kill this witch. Or wizard, sorry. Is the... Oh, there's no way. The fisherman's on the tower. The fisherman is back in business. Look at that. <laughs> fisherman can never catch anything but damage. The Fisherman only catches wins for us. It's wild how extraordinarily awesome that card is for me because, I don't know, I think a lot of people underrate the Fisherman. They're like, oh, it's hard to use. It's not really a good card. But if you're an average player and you haven't used Tornado or Fisherman correctly, and then you learn the mechanics behind cards that can pull and manipulate the battlefield, it will dramatically increase the chances of you winning games. So, highly, highly recommend anyone that hasn't already start using it. Also, yeah, he used Tornado fantastically as well. He stopped us from activating King Tower against that. I thought he would have a Graveyard deck based off of what we've seen, and uh, I think that's what we would have been playing into. So, we matched into Graveyard. Obviously, ideal for us to activate King Tower. We didn't get to do that because the guy played very well. But, is he able to stop this? I, I think we just spawned an insane amount of Goblins. He's going to freeze. Okay, cool. We can peck in the other side. Go in for a Mother Witch here on whatever ranged air card. Inferno Dragon comes down. We can zap on that. Yo, what if we arrows? There's no way. This P.E.K.K.A. might be the winner. Dude, there's no way he's stopping that. The P.E.K.K.A. is going to heal up after it bounces through the bowler. It's going to delete the knight. And then he's going to have to freeze. And then we go Goblin Giant. And we just win. There's no way for him to stop this stupid P.E.K.K.A. It is ready to punish and have him for lunch. Wow, no leftovers either. This thing is a uh, gluttonous guy. I can't believe how hungry our cards are right now. <laughs> and we're going for the other tower because that's how you exemplify greed. We are never going to let him take a tower while we're going for all of his. Wow. I, I can't believe how good this deck is against a variety of different matchups. No matter what we play against, even if we're matching into Graveyard when we've got Cannoneer, there's no fear.
And if you play into beatdown decks like P.E.K.K.A, Mega Knight, Electro Giant, or Golem, since you've got Fisherman, P.E.K.K.A, and Cannoneer, you kind of have to try to lose those matches because this deck hands you an auto win. It was satisfying to see a variety of different MVPs throughout the day. When it was the P.E.K.K.A going on overheal in the last match, the Fisherman pulling off predictions, or the Goblin Giant sprawling a ton of goblins to steal the show. I still think the second game with the Chaotic and Clutch Fisherman and Goblin Giant was one of the best moments I've had all month. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think the craziest play of the day was. Fish slap the like button, subscribe for more daily content, and have an amazing rest of your day.